everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. After years of waiting, we are finally boarding Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas, the biggest cruise ship in the world. We are so thrilled to be on the maiden voyage and we're excited to explore this incredible new ship. We'll give you a tour of our unique cabin, which features bunk beds and a convertible balcony. With this ship, Royal Caribbean moved the quiet adult area from the front to the back of the ship and made it a Vegas style pool party in the biggest suspended infinity pool at sea. Was that a good idea or a bad idea? We'll eat at the largest buffet in the entire fleet and we'll see how it compares to the new Aquadome Market Food Hall. And we'll end the night with a new show in the Aquadome that you're not gonna wanna miss. Why don't you come with us on this adventure? check-in like we're just walking right on it's not even 11 a.m yet it doesn't feel real that the, like the moment is actually here i know we booked this how many days ago 460 days ago when bookings opened back in we, yeah. 2022 yeah we never booked things that early and i feel like it got here before we knew it okay well we, we got to go down that ramp We are now on the ship. Oh my god, it smells new. It smells like fresh paint. Yeah. <laughs> Your stage rooms are ready, the rooms are ready. Yes. It's so beautiful, it's so bright in here. And colorful. <laughs> oh, they're playing the Shrek song. <laughs> Photos do not do this place justice. The Royal Promenade is gigantic. Wow. And the pearl, so beautiful. And they said our room is ready. Normally, like, when you get on, you have to wait a few hours, so we can go straight to our room and put our stuff down. I'm so excited. And then go get some food and explore. One of the many perks of sailing an inaugural voyage is you get a complimentary glass of champagne when you first walk on. I love that. This is really cool. I can't tell you how trippy it is actually being inside the pearl. It looks so cool. This is such a nice like focal point when you first walk in. It is just unlike anything else on any other World Caribbean ship. It's so cool. Can't wait to see it at night. They're gonna do a balloon drop later tonight. We'll have to come back to that. This is the best statue that I've ever seen in a royal ship. So we just did our mustard drill. It was simple, it was easy. And usually on cruise ships, to take the elevators, you're like waiting a long time. But here they've been doing some innovation. So what's cool about the elevators on Icon is you actually choose the floor via a touch panel outside of the elevators. So if we wanna to go to deck seven, you just press seven. We're gonna to go to elevator J. And if you have multiple people, you're supposed to push it another time so it knows how many people are in the elevator. Here it is, and there we go. Oh, look at how colorful and beautiful. Oh my God, look at how cute the carousel is. Oh, I love the colors. It's so weird that the water park is like on the back now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's the drop slide. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love how colorful Central Park is. Oh, air conditioning already feels nice and warm. Welcome aboard. Your key to vacation is here. So we booked kind of a fun room this time. We're in the Family Infinite View balcony room. Our room is deck 10, 694, and on every room it tells you what part of the ship it is, and it's also color-coded. So it's blue in the back, it's like a light blue in the middle, and then like a green turquoise in the front. All right, it works. Oh, there's another door. Oh, this is different. There's a door inside of a door. So if you have two different parties, you can have a connected situation. Yeah, you got both of them. <laughs> Okay, ready? Yeah. That was anticlimactic. Let's do it for real now. <gasps> oh my god, we have a chalkboard? <laughs> oh my god. Whoa! <gasps> oh my god, we already have gifts. So another cool thing when you book inaugural sailing, a lot of the time they'll give you like a gift every day. And we, it looks like we have some hats. Oh my god, I know which one Peter's gonna wear. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely gonna get the green hats. Oh my gosh. 
One of the first things I like to do when we first get in the room is turn the AC down as far as humanly possible. Yeah, and this has like a new like, touch screen yeah, kind of situation. Yeah, this is fancy. So I like it. I think you could also control the lights and blinds and stuff from over here too, so we'll have to mess with that a little bit later. Turn off the lights. Ooh. Ooh, it dims. We turn on the lights. There are a few things that make this room unique. The first thing is that because it is a family room, there's this whole section for the kids, but in this case, it's our friend Kidder. I get to stay in the bunk bed area, which is super cool. So this stateroom actually sleeps six people, but right when you walk in, they have this sort of separate kids bunk area. Uh, what's great is each one of the beds comes with its own television so they can watch TV. So you've got, you know, plugs and lights by each one of the beds. You've got your USB uh, sockets right there. There's also a little nook over back here that you can kind of hang out in. It's a great little space. And then at night, if the parents are out kind of towards the balcony area or hanging out, you can just close off the curtain. <laughs> That, and yes. you get your own space, space which, yeah. is, which is great. So yeah. I can watch TV till like 3 a.m. and not bother them. So the question I have been wondering ever since we booked this room, because you can look at the artwork and you're like, will an adult actually fit in these bunk beds? Because they're like, it's for kids, right? Well, let's see if I look at that. Oh my God, you fit like a glove. I mean, luckily my genetics did not make me six foot 11 because I don't think I would <laughs> fit at six foot reference. 11. I'm just over five eight. Okay. So I think if you were up to about six feet, yeah. you'd be totally fine, uh, but not much taller than that. Oh so. my gosh. This it's is gonna be, be fun climbing up awesome. to the top one. I'm so excited. I love this. that they both come with a TV. That is so cool, yeah. I love it. And if you're wondering, can an adult actually fit up here? I mean, Yes, they totally can. Your feet almost hit the TV. Luckily, I'm not taller, super tall. I guess you could almost sleep this way, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and if you don't like your brother or sister that you're staying with, you can always just shut your curtain up here. Ooh, you could put so much snacks S in there. Lots of snacks. <laughs> We're just gonna Midnight find, like, snacks. I'm gonna have pieces of carrot cake down there <laughs> for when I get hungry at like 3 a.m. in the morning. You think he's kidding? You think I'm kidding? He's not. No. I love that we have this gigantic chalkboard where we could write each other messages. Like, have a good day. Have an iconic sailing, or you know, whatever we want to say. Yeah. That's so fun. But I think we need to check out the bathroom because that's what everybody's here to see, right? Oh yeah, and this is unique too. It's more of like a Disney style bathroom. Yeah, there's separate bathrooms. Ooh, so this is the toilet room, nice. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of the Disney ships because it's separated. It's nice and bright in here. Lots of room to, to do your business. And of course, the most important part of the bathroom is the toilet. We gotta do the flush test. I think it's gonna be good because we're on a cruise ship. It's gonna be powerful. <laughs> That was nice. And then behind door number two is the shower, I'm assuming. Ooh, okay. Oh my God, there's a seat in there. Wow, that's a big shower. I was not expecting that for some reason. Slightly different than the Disney ships. I'm gonna compare because that's something I have to compare it to. But I like this, this looks nice. What an upgrade. Over here is the closet. Down below there are some baskets that you could pull out. Oh, sounds nice. <laughs> and then of course you have a bunch of hangers in here, tons of space, and then just some extra space over here if you need to hang like it your suit or your dress or, ooh, <laughs> ding dong. <laughs> Stop at the door, hold on. And there's actually a hidden compartment over here. Is there? Yeah. This or this? Yeah. Oh my God, I would have never known. Oh, okay, so here's the little safe. Cute. And then I could put like all my little trinkets here that I'm gonna buy in the gift shop, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish this tour. Okay, we got a desk over here. Yeah, nice desk. Cute little chair with a nice little pattern on there. I love that. Tons more drawers. I'm assuming there's a refrigerator down here. Yeah, a little teeny mini fridge. So cute. And the drawer above the refrigerator, there's a hair dryer. Oh, nice. I like how the drawers have a yellow accent as well. Ooh, there's some Kleenex. Here's the, this is fun. Here's a breakfast menu. If you want to order breakfast and have it delivered to your room, you pick what time you want and then you pick the items that you want and your food will magically appear at your door. Magic. 
I like the pops of color here. I like the yellow. There's this blue lamp. Yeah. There's a push button right there. Yeah, it's very like modern. Plug there. There's two USBs, a foreign plug, and then two more USBs wow, over there. So many plugs. Yeah. Good thing I got a lot of stuff to plug in. What is happening with this lady's head? <laughs> she's got. She's like. <laughs> She's like one of the, the zombies from The Last of Us. She has like plants growing out of her face. Yes. Of course you have a couch here and I think this pulls out to be another bed if we need it. This is a nice king size bed. If you look over here, there's even more storage. So you could put, you know, your sunscreen or your, your glasses or whatever you need right over here. And then there's this huge TV right in front of the bed. So if you're here with your family, the kids could be in there watching, you know, their kitty stuff and the adults could be out here watching whatever they wanted to be on the TV, you know what I'm saying? And it looks like each one of the sides has its own USB and light switch, which is nice. I even like the pop of color with the, the pillow there. You know what I'm noticing too? The lighting in here is different. Like there's a whole light strip on the side of the wall, which just, I don't know, it like adds some kind of like mood lighting to the room. I like it. It's very like calming in a weird way. So the thing that I am most anticipating about this room, like it's an awesome, fun room, unique, but it has this thing called an infinite balcony, which as you can see, there's chairs and a table and stuff in here. Like it's where the balcony should be, but it's connected to the room, which I don't know how I feel about that because I feel like when I open the window, it's going to make the whole room hot and humid. Yeah. Like part of the fun of the balcony is when, you know, first thing in the morning, ah, oh, wake up and then you could go get a nice sea breeze. Now it's like, what, we're going to wake up and then just go open the window and like stick our head out the window or something? I don't know. Weird. You can hear beautiful Miami in the background. <laughs> oh, that's cool. There's curtains here. So you can kind of block it off like a balcony. I kind of love the idea of this because we don't usually spend that much time on the balcony. We're usually inside the cabin. We come on the balcony in the morning or at night just to like see the ocean. But this way you get the extra space indoors and it adds to the space of the room yeah. rather than being space that you don't really use. Okay, yeah. yeah, I think on a sea day where you've got the ocean breeze coming, yeah. we are, it's like 82 yeah, we need to close and muggy ASAP. here in Miami. <laughs> I don't know that I would keep it open on a port day unless like you'd be in Alaska. Uh, but <laughs> as you're just yeah sailing down in the Caribbean, yeah. like it can feel really, really nice. Yeah. As long as you're not like in direct sunlight too. So. Yeah, the downside I think is the AC automatically turns off once this opens oh, and okay. your, your room is gonna get warm because you're basically letting the environment into your entire cabin. Yeah, and there's a blackout curtain up here. Mm -hmm. Is this what this other mm -hmm. one is for? Oh, okay, there's two buttons, I was confused. It reminds me of the Starkers are kind of. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, block out all the lights. I want it dark in here. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. So what's really cool about the technology on the ship is you can control a lot of the elements in your stateroom directly from the app. So right now, all of the lights are off. So if we want to turn the lights on, you simply press on. That all, is so All of the lights cool. came on. We got a special delivery. That's fun. What it say? It says, oh my God, it's from our friends views and cues. Oh my God. Oh, that's so cute. It says, Peter and Kitra, I hope you have an iconic cruise adventure. Wow, that's so nice of them. That is so nice of them. Oh my God, they're so thoughtful. What did they get us? Oh, I don't know. Oh my, oh, look at the color, Peter. Look at the color. How, look at these fancy chocolates. Fancy pants chocolate. I didn't even know they had this kind of chocolate no. on the ship. Like this neon orange, neon yellow matches yeah. our luggage. Well, thank you, Brian Thank Carey. you, guys. I'm sure we're going to run into them really soon, but yeah. that is so nice of them. Now I feel bad that we didn't get them anything. I didn't know you could do that. I'll How have did to... they even know our stateroom? I don't know, but we'll have to buy them like a Starbucks drink or something. Yeah. <laughs> How fun. Along with the hats, there's like this icon of the seas magazine, which... I think talks about all the different shows. I wonder if we're actually going to see all these shows while we're here because we're on like the first official voyage and sometimes stuff is not ready, but very cool. So there's 28 different kinds of cabins on the ship. 50% of them are new to this ship. And this particular cabin, there's only 78 of them on the Icon of the Seas and they're all in the Surfside neighborhood. And if you're wondering how big it is, it's 335 square feet 
and that includes the 50 square foot convertible balcony. Oh my god, do you guys know that the normal infinite ocean view balcony room is 250 square feet? So this is like almost 100 square feet more. So they just have a single bathroom. They don't have the split bathroom. So it's basically from here on back to the infinite balcony. So we get that whole extra area. And you get forward. the extra bathroom and then the bunk bed area. You got a fan? You brought a fan? I brought a fan. Oh God, we're going to the Caribbean. It's I'm like already sweating. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, so don't judge me. I'm a little bit flushed, okay? That's why the hat is on. Now it is time to eat. So we're gonna go up to deck 15 and go to our favorite place, Windjammer Buffet. Number B. Right there. Number B, letter B. <laughs> Number B. Washi washi. You always gotta washi washi first. Oh, look at that. The, the, the towels are in like these treasure chests. Ooh, fancy. Washi washi, yummy yummy. After you washi washi, you could go have yummy yummy. <laughs> Baby, wash your hands, wash your hands, baby, wash your hands. Oh, look at this. For every inaugural sailing, they usually make a cake, and this time it's like a bunch of different cupcakes. Over in the bakery section, where you can find all your meats and cheeses and bread, they have these cheese sculptures. And I, are they real or not? I can't tell. They They're well so cool. But they got fish and they got birds. Made out of cheese. Yeah. Over in the off the grill section, they have all your like seafood options. There's shrimp, there's filet mignon, there's like roasted potatoes. Mm. I'm not sure if all this stuff is on every cruise because sometimes they like to go a little bit overboard for the inaugural. Yeah, them. like there's like lobster tails and stuff too. So over in the dessert section, they have like these chocolate and candy sculptures of the ship and stuff. But the desserts look so good, including there's like an Oreo cheesecake and, well, Kidder's most excited for... The carrot cake. Carrot cake. <laughs> it all looks so good. It looks I, so good. I wanna eat the sculptures, but I won't. They have an international island, which today doesn't really have much international food. There's some like barbecue chicken, some seafood dishes, Waldorf salad, pork schnitzel. There's a meat carver over here. Now, I don't eat seafood, but the seafood section is very impressive. They got clams, they got marinated mussels, they got a seafood tower, calamari, shrimp cocktail. I've not seen some of these things on a ship buffet before ever. So what's really cool is the uh, systems to get your drinks are now touchless. You just put the cup underneath there, you wave your hand in front. Yeah, you feel like a wizard or you feel like a Jedi. And they got iced tea, apple juice, orange juice, and fruit punch. And coffee. Milk and tea over here. I love this. Like all the different milk varieties. They even have soy milk. From what I understand, this Windjammer is the biggest Windjammer that Royal Caribbean has. It might be the biggest buffet at sea. They have an Asian section, which has like some paneer butter masala. There's some like chicken. There's some rice. Oh my god, there's literally everything you could ever want here. Soup, salad. Oh my god, they have it all. Yeah, they have a whole salad bar too. So if you wanted to be healthy, you could, but I'm not. We're not, we're not getting salad on a cruise, come on. <laughs> I think my favorite station is just the classic, like burgers, hot dogs, french fries, chicken fingers, there's chili and cheese. I'm gonna definitely make myself some chili cheese fries. That sounds so good right now. And they even have a station over here where they will make custom pasta for you. You pick all the ingredients you want and they'll make it for you fresh. So I just ended up getting the make your own pasta station, which I got with like, some bacon and some chickens and some bolognese sauce. And I also got like a steak. And look at these roasted potatoes. They look so good. What did you get? I went pretty basic. I just got a cheeseburger with the works on it. And then I made myself some chili cheese fries. And I also got the same potato wedges that you. We're so predictable. Got to start cruise with the shrimp cocktail, filet, lamb, chicken, chicken finger, turkey, and a little bit of pasta. <laughs> Basically a lot of protein. Uh, and a vegetable. A little <laughs> bit of green. No, two pieces, two of, pieces asparagus. of asparagus. Yeah, you gotta be healthy. Yeah. The pasta was really good. I got some spice in there, so it was a little bit spicy. But just so you know, pro tip, when they make it for you, it's actually kind of a yeah. big serving. So if you're here for a buffet that likes a bunch of stuff, <laughs> yeah. that was kind of like my lunch. Yeah. But doesn't mean I can't get dessert. And I got myself a whole trio of desserts here. The one I'm most interested in is the Oreo cheesecake. As you know, our friend Kidder is obsessed with carrot cake. This is the best dessert 
on any Royal Caribbean ship. You can fight me for the Oreo cheesecake. Well, this is number one. I yeah. haven't. No, I don't even need to try it. But <laughs> this is gonna be ten out of ten. I mean, you already know. You need to take. You need so, to shoot that whole thing in your mouth. The frosting to cake consistency there. Like, That's look at that. That is a lot. <laughs> I need to know where this carrot cake obsession comes from, where it stemmed from. Oh, instantly. <laughs> we are bringing these back to our room and putting them in the cooler. Do it. Because if they're not in the wind jammer tomorrow, I'm going to be disappointed. That's a good idea. You better go grab them all right yeah. now. <laughs> wind jammer is always a good lunch on your first day of a royal cruise. But there's so many new things on this ship that we want to explore. And also, we got the drink package which means we can drink as much as we want. There's a ton of new bars on the ship. Originally, I wanted to do this thing called the Icon of the Seas Bar Crawl, where we would do a video and go to every single bar and try all the new drinks and stuff like that. Then I realized there's over 20 bars, so that would be not possible and irresponsible. So we're gonna do that over the course of seven days here on the ship. And we're, we're gonna go right now to bar number one. So we're headed to the hideaway, which is like the adult only area. And to get there, we got to go through Thrill Island, which is like, the it's a water park at sea, basically. I looked down, and this boat is copying your style. There's a giant thing over there wearing your glasses, the green glasses. What is that? I don't even understand, but it's like copying your look. That's so funny. I can't believe we're on a cruise ship, because it's like, there's so much, it's so colorful. Oh my god, look at that drop slide. I love how they have these giant binoculars up here. I'm sure it's for like whale watching or whatever, but right now I could just look into the ship next to us and it's funny because everybody on that ship is just like staring at our ship with their mouths open, pointing and being like, wishing they were here. Sorry. <laughs> we made our way through Thrill Island to the back of the ship where there's a brand new neighborhood. It's called The Hideaway. And this is adult only. It's a Las Vegas style beach club at sea. There's a DJ playing. The highlight of this area, I think, is they have the first suspended infinity pool at sea. And this covers eight stories high above Surfside. It's 135 feet above the ocean. We'll have to check that out in another day. Today we're here to check out the Hideaway Bar, where they have a whole unique menu of drinks that they've created just for this bar. For my first drink of the cruise, I ordered myself the Oh My God. And this is basically a Mai Tai, but has some bitters. I gotta admit, it's the worst Mai Tai I've ever had in my life. So I just ordered another drink. Instead, I'm gonna try the Castaway Spritz. This is an Aperol, coconut milk, pineapple juice, mango, vanilla syrup, Prosecco. I kind of like it. It has this pineapple, mango mixed with that coconut milk, but then the Aperol gives it like a bitter aftertaste. I'm not sure I love Aperol, but I like this a lot more than the Mai Tai. I think it's like a, a three and a half out of five Peters. I gotta say though, why did they make the adult area so loud? It's so incredibly <laughs> loud. There's, I understand, so you come on a vacation, you want a party, and I might, we might just be like the old like buddy duddies that are like, I want to get away from the loudness of the kids. But it's just like a Vegas nightclub here. I'm not sure if this is like my vibe, but I don't know, we're gonna have to try it out. The drink that I'm gonna try is called the Sunset Spritz and this has tequila, it has desert pear and watermelon and Prosecco. It is so beautiful, it's this beautiful pink color. I already want to go take like a selfie with it, like at the, the edge of the ship, like holding my drink. It's just so pretty. This tastes like a margarita, but more on the sour side, but a little bit of sweetness because of that desert pear, which gives it a nice flavor. I feel like you definitely need to stir it because the first sip I took, I was like, I don't know if I like this, but the more I drink it, the more I'm enjoying it and it's so pretty. I'd give it like probably like a three and a half out of five. I love how Royal has just like random statues all around the ship, like this golden pool floating. It's actually like made out of metal. So we can't use it in the pool, unfortunately. It'll just sink to the bottom. So the hideaway also has a bunch of loungers which look pretty nice. 
And then, like, right next to that, there's, like, two whirlpools, which, like, seem pretty huge. So we're going to be back here for sure. Yeah, I will say a big difference between this ship and the Oasis-class ships is they have what they call a solarium, which is the adult-only area, and it's so quiet in there. It is so peaceful. It's like you're at a spa. It's amazing. So this is just definitely a little bit different. This is the Vegas vibe. Yeah, this is like the Vegas vibe. Wow. So many water slides. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're going to have to come back here another day. Yes, this is like... So cool. I'm just, I have the biggest smile on my face because the ship is, it's just so different than any of the other Royal Caribbean ships. I know I've said that like a million times, but it's, it's fun turning around every corner and just finding new stuff. Oh my God, look at how colorful the pool deck is. Wow. That's, I love Royal because they're always so colorful. This yeah. is coming across as like a Royal Caribbean like ad. It's not, I just love it. <laughs> There's lots of these like green loungers everywhere. And right over here in the pool area, there's two whirlpools. There's one over there, one over there. On the Disney Wish, there's only one hot tub for that entire ship. Unless you count the spa, then there's two more. But this ship so far, I've counted four, and we haven't even been like halfway on the pool deck. And I just found another one. This one that kind of looks like a martini glass up here. That's actually a hot tub too, I think. How awesome. I like that the hot tubs have like this leaf design, yeah. so you're not in the sun. We're just big hot tub fans. Like, the more hot tubs, the better. Yeah. Never have too many, in my opinion. Next up, we're gonna make our way over to the Aqua Dome. That's where the adult area used to be. We're passing over Central Park, and there's these sculptures of a high diver jumping, I guess, into the park. <laughs> it's cool. It's yeah. very trippy to look at. Yeah, and I found another hot tub. Another hot tub right up there. So many hot tubs. We actually walked by another hot tub as yes, well. Yes, I know. This is amazing. So if you like hot tubs, I can of the seas might be yeah. the ship for you. <laughs> hot tub of the seas. Oh, that's a mirror right there. Is it? Oh wait, no, it isn't. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it. I thought it was. A mirror. I believed you. I love how the floor is even like glowing. So the Aqua Dome is where they have the special Aqua Show. It's called Aqua Action. The water shows on some of the other ships have been like our favorite thing that Royal Caribbean does. So it's cool that they still have it and they just moved it over here. And now that it's indoors, maybe it won't like get canceled because sometimes yeah, it Yeah, because canceled. sometimes it would cancel it because of weather or whatever, but this is such a small venue. Doesn't it feel small? It does feel a lot small smaller. Kind of like a Cirque du Soleil show. Look at that. They have the Kuka arms. Those are the things that are used to build cars, but more importantly, those are the things that operate the ride on Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Since they don't have any days off, like there always is a cruise. When they're doing like tech rehearsals, it's while well, guests are in here. So right now, I think they're testing out this flying rig. And this like can make people fly in 3D space all around the Aqua Dome. And you can see, this is the first time that they actually have two rigs. So you can actually have two people flying at the same time. So right in front of the Aqua Dome is the overlook. It's an area that obviously can overlook the front of the ship. It has a virtual aquarium, which I love. I kind of wish it was a real aquarium. How awesome would that be? But it's so cool nonetheless, and I feel like it's gonna look even better at night. This is, it's nice and chill down here. I like it. I like that there's like some bars and there's plenty of recliners to sit and look yeah. out front. Or sometime during this trip, we need to get our friends and they have these like pods. They're kind of up in the air above the overlook. Oh yeah. I Maybe see that's why they there. call it the overlook. Imagine sitting in one of these chairs or this lounger just cruising through the Caribbean. I mean, that will be us tomorrow. So we just went up on that pod. There's some other people there, so we didn't want to film. But a couple of things I wanted to mention, they have so many outlets here. There's like USB, USB-C. So if you want to, want to bring and charge your phone or use your laptop here, it's nice. And also, there's like AC. Yeah, they have air conditioning that's kind of like down by your legs. So we were just sitting up there for like 15 minutes and the bottom half of my body is like freezing cold. And it feels <laughs> so nice. Because it's it gets humid. Yeah, it's it gets a little steamy in here because this is kind of like a like a greenhouse, so it gets a little muggy, so it's nice that they have the AC blowing on you. I was a little annoyed earlier that they put the adult area in the back of the ship and it's so loud and whatever. They took it away from the solarium. But now that I've been here, it's super cool. And I, I can see why they did it, because this is going to be a cool place for us to come chill at night, grab some drinks with some friends, 
and watch yeah. the water. So on the port side, right next to the Aquadome, is Hooked Seafood. So this is like one of the premium restaurants. If you like seafood, you like fish. I think they do have some steak, but we've never actually tried this place. Having these seats when the Aqua Show is going on, you can be like sitting, eating your dinner, and then you can just like look up from your meal and see some of the most craziest entertainment you've ever seen just happening behind you. I love the colors in the mural in here. Central Park is one of our favorite parts on any royal ship. So I'm excited to check this one out and see if there's any differences. The statue right here reminds me of the movie Annihilation with Natalie Portman. Has anyone ever seen that movie? A little creepy, creepy vibes, but I like it. <laughs> This church in the Central Park has over 30,000 plants. There's 20% more trees and has four of those like walls with all the like plants growing on them. It does seem like a lot of the trees are like new. I feel like when we're here in 10, 20 years, they're gonna like be like these huge trees. <laughs> but I, I just, I love the murals and whatever this art installation is up here, this colorful thing, this might be my favorite Central Park out of all the Central Parks. I have never park. been in a Central Park. This is, like, it's crazy that we're on a, a cruise ship and, like, we just have all these different dining and drink venues and all this actual live foliage all around us. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. We literally are going to be in the middle of the ocean and you have all this beauty around us. This is, it's blowing my mind. There's some orchids here and it's yeah, growing so on a tree. There's, like, the roots here. How does that work? I don't know anything about flowers. There's a bunch of restaurants in Central Park, including Izumi, which is like hibachi. And they have a bunch of hibachis in there, including like, there's like a secret room on the side that you can outlook into Central Park. I think that would be cool to eat there. And they also have Izumi to go, which is a new concept. It, again, it's premium, you gotta pay for it, but they got like bubble waffles and other stuff. Yeah, they have like grab and go sushi. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. We gotta go back there. But yeah. right now we're gonna go into Surfside. Oh my god, is the flamingo? That is so cool. Royal has the best art. Oh my god, I love that. Oh look, there's like little turtles down there too. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Little blue turtles. That was fun. Don't do it with open-toed shoes. You'll like scrape a little bit. It was fun. <laughs> Pro tip. Pro tip. So right now we're in Surfside, which is kind of the family neighborhood, the area for kids and parents to hang out and have fun together. And it's very colorful, extremely colorful. I like that they redid the carousel here. It has like all kind of like sea creatures and stuff. Yeah, it's not just boring horses. <laughs> oh my God, they have like a VW van, but it's not a VW van. You need to get in there, that's your color. It is my color. Oh my God. I <laughs> Cut to just a video, a video of you on this alone, just riding it a million times in that. <laughs> I like that the pineapple looks like a minion. It does kind of look like a minion. This is so cute. I like this guy, this like inflatable flamingo guy. He's cool. And over on the back, you have the lemon post bar. And I love the colors here. Obviously it's my colors, <laughs> but the concept for this is like a mo mommy and me bar. So the adult can order cocktail and then the kid can get like a mocktail. Oh my God, look at these lemon lights. They're like in the shape of a lemon. Oh wow. That's so cute. But here's the alcoholic beverages right here. Are those all different kinds of lemonades? I wonder what the green lemonade is. So I saw those lemonades over at the Lemon Post and I decided to get one. I got the Green Sea Monster. This is green apple syrup, shark gummies, and house-made lemonade. And these normally sell for $5 a piece, but we have the drink package, so. So why not, right? So the girl math is, it was free. Yes. Or Peter math. Peter math. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so let's try it. I like that they come in this like little baggie. Yeah. You can carry around. I think this is like 90% sugar. Yeah. It doesn't really taste like lemonade. All it tastes is like the green apple. It's like <laughs> green apple soda. It's not carbonated though. But it is like, I wouldn't even call this like a drink. 
as much as I'd call it liquid king. <laughs> and for that, I'll give it five out of five. Of course, either. yes. And then I got peer pressured into ordering one too, even though I know it's gonna give me a stomach ache. But the one that I got is the Blue Raspberry Ocean, and this is Blue Raspberry Syrup, Sweetest Fish, and House Made Lemonade. I like that it looks like the ocean and you have like the red fishy. Yeah, I don't know why I'm holding it like this. I've just been like holding it like this. I don't know. Okay. Oh. See what I mean? This tastes like a melted down otter pop or like a like an icy pop. Yeah. Oh my god, that's what it tastes like. And that was the best part when it was frozen and then you suck out like the, the liquid. Okay, I like it. As a millennial, I could appreciate this. And I, kids are gonna love this. Ordinary adventure star for these, okay? Yeah. The, the only problem is you give your kid one of these and they're gonna be running around all day for yeah. a day. You're right. It will we'll probably be like up all night now, but it'll be worth it. Oh my God, look at this. This is the private entrance to the townhouse suite. Have you seen this thing? It's like two stories high. Wow. It has a slide. It, it is incredible. I don't, I think it's like, yeah, we'll never stay there. It's almost like a hundred thousand dollars or something. It <laughs> looks awesome, and it's cool that it has like a private entrance. But uh, yeah, that is pretty cool. There was like some waiters with a bunch of like those alcoholic drinks, like in pineapples, with like a tray of like eight of them, and just bringing it to whoever's staying in there. Yeah. So good for them. So the craziest thing about the Ultimate Family Townhouse is it's eighty thousand dollars, and yet they've sold it out for every sailing for the entire first year of Icon of the Seas. So if you want to stay in it. You have to stay in it in like 2025, some late 2025. It's almost time for the sailway, so we're gonna leave Surfside and go to the top deck. We're up on deck 16 for sailway, and we went to one of the four lime and coconut bars, and I ordered myself a lime and coconut, and it came in this like little pail, a it's sand so pail. Cute. It has a handle. Yeah. You can, We've had this before. It's good. I remember it being very good. It's a Royal Caribbean classic. Ordinary Adventure Galaxy? Yes. Galaxy. This goes into the Hall of Fame. Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> sailway party it's just like a lot of music and stuff before an inaugural sailing like this they actually did fireworks yeah I've never seen that before and it was like during like sunset not nighttime so you couldn't really see them that well but it was still really cool they lasted for a long time and with the Miami skyline behind us it was epic and then we ran over to the other side of the boat because I wanted to see South Beach and there were so many people gathered waving cheering like that was the that, highlight. That was so cool to see, and I'm so glad that we came over to the other side to see that. People were hyped, people were waving, people were excited. It was awesome. <laughs> I'm excited. We're finally moving. We are now set sail, yes. and the, the trip has begun. Yes. Many hours later. So we have an hour before dinner, so we're going back to the hideaway. It's still loud, but there's a lot less people here. Yeah, so we're going to go into the infinity pool that's looking over the back of the ship. And we, we could bring drinks in there, so we got ourselves some, some Ace Hard Cider, or no, some Angry, Angry Orchard. Orchard. Wow, get it right. And we're going to go in there, and yeah. hopefully it's not too cold. And we got that because the drinks at this bar are not good. Oh I'm just going to say, I'm just, they're not good. Well, I just was craving a cider, okay? Is it warm? Oh, it's not bad. Feels good. It definitely isn't warm, but like, it's not cold either. Oh my god, I love the lights that they put in the wake of the ship. We're here with our friends, Random Recess. Yeah, we all got our little drinkies on the little drink stands. That's what's cool about this infinity pool. Yeah. Wow, that rhymes. That's what's cool about this infinity pool. <laughs> but your drinks. See, I thought like you'd look over the edge and then you'd see down there, but there's right, actually like, no, there's the space. I guess it would be a liability. Nick's making us leave. It's too cold. <laughs> I'm freezing back here. You think it'd be 
epic weather, it's not as cool. Yeah, it's we, even cold. It's though. not iconic we weather. To the jacuzzi. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, there's nobody in there. So we just spent 30 minutes in the hot tub, and now it's time to go dry off and get dinner. So for dinner, we're going to one of the new restaurants here. It's like a food hall, it's Aquadome Market, and they have Max, which is a mac and cheese place, Ginger, which is an Asian food. There's Feta Mediterranean, which is obviously Mediterranean food, and then Post and Garden, which I think is sandwiches and salads. Yeah, and then they also have like a crepe stand too, which has sweet and savory crepes. I think tonight I want Mediterranean food. What about you? I want like mac and cheese. That's the beauty of it. I could get one thing, you can get another <laughs> thing. And it smells so good in here. I'm so excited to try this. Yeah, you do. So Max mac and cheese. They have pepperoni mac and cheese, broccoli mac, chili mac, bacon mac, and classic mac. Which mac am I gonna get? I don't know. Feta is kind of like Chipotle, but for Mediterranean food, you pick your base, you pick your protein, you pick all your toppings, and you pick like the sauce that you want on top. And if you want everything you can, I pretty much got everything except for I only got one of the sauces. I was thinking about getting like all of them, but you know, I just I went with the garlic sauce. I got pork, I got all the veggies, and it is like overflowing from this pita. And some people might be asking, like, what's the difference between this and, like, the buffet? And I think this just, the quality of food looks better. Yeah, it's just like a step up. It feels like a little bit fresher, maybe. Yeah. Because they had, like, uh, the meat in the back, and they were, like, shaving it off and stuff. So, in my mind, that's fresher. I don't know. <laughs> I love Mediterranean food, so I have a feeling I'm going to be hitting up this spot all throughout this cruise. And the cool thing is, is this place is actually open until midnight. That is so cool. I feel like whenever we go on a Disney cruise, all the food closes at like, you know, like 8 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> so this would be a good late night snack. So at Max, I asked them what was the best mac and cheese, and they told me the bacon, and they also recommended the chili, so I decided to get both because... <laughs> why not? You're on a cruise. Yeah, why not? And they give you like these small portions, which I think is meant so you can kind of like sample the different places here. If you love bacon, that is so much bacon. Wow. It's like, I can't even taste the mac and cheese. <laughs> and I know that might sound like a bad thing, that's a good thing. I think this is a five out of five Peters. Awesome. Yeah. Have we given anything a bad, oh yeah, the drinks. Yeah. Well, this is a win. Let's try the chili mac. I don't see much chili in there, to be honest with you. <laughs> but who knows? It's solid. I'd give this like a four out of five Peters. It's more mac and cheese than chili. I, the, the other one's better. The bacon nader well, you mac and cheese. Well, you gotta try them all by the end of the cruise. Yeah, you gotta try every single mac and cheese. <laughs> so I decided to go up for seconds and I went to the crepe place and I got Nutella, strawberry, banana, and then they put like caramel and some powdered sugar on top. I think it was like, you could choose whatever you want. Basically, I just like chose everything, kind of. I don't know how to eat this. Oh my God. I think you'd love this because the Nutella is very strong. Well, we're going to share it, right? <laughs> I guess. The fruit makes it healthy because you add fruit yeah. to it and it all of a sudden isn't bad for you. And it's fantastic. It, like, I love that they actually make it fresh for you right in front of you and, like, you can put whatever you want. Like, you're not supposed to put caramel on top, but I was like, can we put caramel in there? And she's like, I'll put it on top for you. It's good, right? That's good. Ordinary adventure star for this crate. What a genius creation, Peter. Thank you. They should name this one the Peter. <laughs> so the reason we went to Aquadome Market instead of the main dining room is because we have the Aqua Show tonight, and it would have kind of like been a very close call. We wanted to get there early. So now we're doing the Aqua Show. Okay, so we are here seated. There's a lot of leg room. Uh, we got here about an hour early because we wanted to make sure that we got a seat, even though we had a reservation. And I cannot wait. My anticipation, once again, up here. This is something that I've been looking forward to this whole time, and it's finally the moment is finally here. The anticipation is over her head. Yes, up here at least.
I'm such a mark for this show in particular because usually they're dancing and doing all these incredible acts to like popular music, but this was to like movie score yeah. music and it just like made me love it even more. They did like a best of everything that they've done before in these aqua shows, but then they like like that one scene with the two people in the air. Yeah, that was so beautiful. That was art. I was, it was waiting, emotional. waiting the whole time for that water to fall from the ceiling. And it finally did, and my mind just, like, my brain exploded out of my head with excitement. Like, 
I don't know. It was like the flashlight stuff was so simple. I mean, not simple. Obviously, these are yeah. talented like athletes doing this. But like, it was just so well done. Like, I loved it so much. Yeah, it, it was incredible. I was impressed. I was moved. I would see this again. By the way, I don't think this is finished because there's supposed to be a whole skateboarding part that's not integrated. The guy said that there's they've only had water in that pool for 10 days. Yeah, everybody involved with the show is a genius. You did an incredible job. I want to watch this like a million more times. Yeah. And they're, they're saying that they're going to be like practicing all day, every day. Yeah, we're going to have to come down here during the day and see if we can see them practicing. So that'll be cool. But that Star Wars segment. So good. And it went into Star Trek. Yeah, and it went into like Close Encounters and then it played like the Mich the Men in Black song, like score. It played like all these like sci-fi scores. It was really cool. You know what? I don't want to compare Royale to Disney. But Disney, Disney is should be doing this. Disney is always known for their entertainment. But Disney would never. That, yeah. Disney would never do anything as ambitious as that. They did like the whole Wakanda thing, and then they came up and they did like the Avengers A, like with their body. <laughs> that was so cool. Yeah. I loved it. Awesome. Oh! Welcome on board the largest cruise ship in the stepping on them. I really did not enjoy that. So that was only day one of our Icon of the Seas cruise, and there's a ton of stuff we have not gotten to. We have more videos coming, so subscribe. We'll put the playlist right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Cody, Janet, and Jason. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.